Hello and welcome to the CA ArcServe Unified Data Protection Series of Whiteboard Videos. My name is Max Altalagheri and I'm a Senior Principal Consultant here at CA Technologies working with the ArcServe team. Today we wanted to go over a feature overview of ArcServe Unified Data Protection. I'm part of a group of 500 people dedicated to ArcServe within CA Technologies across five continents. When considering how to protect data, back it up and replicate the data, we have to consider what is the type of data it is that you're looking to protect first of all. Is it an individual file? Are we talking about an entire full system or a mission critical database in the environment? The next question that we have to ask is, how are we going to protect it? Do we use things like snapshots that are once a night? Maybe snapshots every four or six hours? Or does it have to be highly available? The next question is always, where are we going to put it? Is it a disk that we want to put it to so that we can restore from very quickly? Can it be archived off the tape? Or again, does it have to be something that's highly available right there? More importantly, how is it that we're going to restore this data? Do we need to do an individual file restore? Do we need to do application restore? Do we need smaller bytes of applications? Or do we need to do full system restores? That's why we've created ArcServe UDP. So if we go over the building blocks of how this tool works, essentially everything is around a central console because we want to be able to manage everything from one place. We want to be able to protect physical machines and virtual machines. Most importantly, with our tool, we have source-side dedupe. A good explanation of this is if there's three spreadsheets, as an example, sitting on that one machine, when we go to back it up, we only want to send one over the wire. And with virtual machines, we want to make sure that it's agentless, meaning that nothing is actually installed on the virtual machine. We can do single pass backups. All of this going to what we call a recovery point server. This recovery point server has obviously data stores that can be configured to segregate data if necessary, but most importantly, it has global deduplication across all nodes that are coming into it. It also has encryption capabilities and compression built in. If we continue to go down the building blocks, the key features here are virtual standby, one of my personal favorites, where we can take the last backup that is sitting here on the data store and automatically mount it as a guest on a hypervisor. Built-in replication so that we can replicate these data stores to remote locations and consolidate them, doing, having global dedupe capabilities in the disaster recovery site, as an example. High availability is also built in. High availability is also an add-on within this tool so that we can protect critical databases or applications such as Exchange, SQL, Oracle, SharePoint, IIS. Just as important is the ability to archive, to tape, or to a cloud. All of this built on one unified architecture. And these are the building blocks and some of the key features as an introduction to the tool. All of this is what we like to call a short recovery. For additional information, please go to www.arcserve.com where you can catch up on this video and others and also contact your CA sales rep. And remember, ArcServe UDP is assured recovery. Thanks for watching.